couple of news and notes. Tim Zhu is going to be fighting Tony Harrison March 12th. The news just came out this morning. What do you think of Tony Harrison going to Australia to fight Tim Zhu March 12th? I like that fight. I'm bummed that it's not going to be Jermel and Tim Zhu, but it's a good matchup. I feel like Tony hasn't been in the ring that much since the Charlo fights, and I feel like this is a tough guy to not have been super active against because of his level of aggression. Like, Zoo is very much a front foot guy, and he does it pretty smart. Um, so I, I definitely favor Tim in this fight for sure, but I think that Tony always has the boxing skills to, um, to at least confuse him. I think my concern for Tony in this is his his main problem in fights is focus. Like he'll lose focus in fights. I always say this like he's like the guy jumping rope and then he'll miss the he'll he'll catch his foot on like the 15th minute of a 16 minute round. Like he'll lose and Tim Zhu is not the guy that you can lose focus with. And yeah. on top of that focus issue I've seen throughout his career, it appears he's more actively involved in Alicia Baumgartner's career and I just worry that T Tony might be spreading himself a little thin because for him to win this fight, I feel like he mentally has to maintain that focus that el has eluded him in some of his best performances because really his best performances have been the fights he lost. Like when he lost to no. Charlo, that was his best performance in my eyes. But, but he won the first one. No, but I'm saying in the second fight, I think he fought a better fight and then he had that lapse and got knocked out. See, I thought he fought a great fight in that first one. I thought he was really smart. Jermel really couldn't get hands on him at all. I feel like that's the guy that has to show up to have a chance against Tim Zhu. But he's going to have to be a little bit more active because I think Tim's nature is is less calculated than Jermel's. Um, but I think that I, – I, I thought he won the first one against Jermel kind of clearly. I'm not saying it wasn't close, but I thought he clearly won it. Um, that's the guy that can give Tim Zhu problems. If it's not that guy, it, he, it's he's going to get beat up at some point. So then my question to you is, are, do we ever see Tim Zhu Charlo at 154? Because with the announcement of this fight, it makes me wonder, what does that mean for a future Charlo fight? Right. And, and this is one of the bigger fights in the whole division. So what does that mean for what? This is where I get, and you'll understand this, this is where I get worried about this, right? If they announce this fight now, unless Jamel is going to fight in within the month of March, now we're staggering performances where they're not gonna they're not gonna be in the ring with each other because they always oh I have this in two months oh I just fought two months ago you know what I mean? When I think the problem is like the Charlos are kind of people we're looking at to be some of the faces of boxing. One of the brothers has been out of the ring for two years. Another one is approaching one year. By the time both brothers return, it'll probably be a combined three or three and a half years. Yeah of inactivity. And I mean, this is entering the Keith Thurman land of people just start to not care. I certainly don't when it comes to Jamal. I mean, it, I, I've been saying this for a little bit, as far as I'm concerned, he's retired because I just, it, not only is he inactive for this stretch of time, we don't have a reason, at least when Keith fought, he was in a car accident. He got hurt. There was at least at the beginning, there was reasons for him to be inactive with Jamal. I'm sure there's plenty of shit about his life I don't know about, but I have no idea why he's not fighting. It's been two years, and as far as I'm concerned, if I don't see you for two years and there's no reason, you're retired. Tim, Jesus M said, Tim wanted to be active and not wait. I respect I that, it. but I also feel like when guys don't want to wait, they also know something that the guy that they wanted to fight isn't coming back for a while. Well, he's, I mean, he broke his hand. You know, that's a tough injury to come back from, um, particularly. I, I don't remember the exact kind of break, but just, like, having it been. It happened on Christmas Eve, too, which was the ultimate, like, F you to fight fans. Like, we couldn't wait a couple extra days. Like, we couldn't get through Christmas. Yeah. I mean, just having been, like, a, a you know, a trainer and a gym rat kind of guy, and I've had hand problems and wrist problems, you know, especially having to use your hands in that way, it's a tricky thing to come back from. So he may be saying, I don't want to take the risk that this is going to take another five, six months and make sure I keep my blade sharp so that if we fight over the summer, I'm, I've am i been active. 
my gut feeling is when Charlo comes back, he's at 160. You think he's done at 154? I think that he, with the injury, I think he might also gain a little bit of weight because injuries can do that. And I think he might not be keen on coming back. And I think with Errol Spence moving to 154, I think Spence is going to want to fight for a vacant title. So I think the way things shake out is we might have seen, I'm not knowing it, but I'm saying I could see a world where Jermel Charlo is at 160. That's Carlos Adami's land where he can jump right into that big fight. We got Errol versus Thurman. That's for a fight. And then if Jermel Charlo ever comes back, which we don't even know if he'll come back, he would hypothetically come back at 168. But we've always heard about they're going to be in different divisions. I have a feeling that basically this fight being announced basically signals the end of the Jermel Charlo at 154 era. It wouldn't blow my mind. I mean, there are still attractive fights for him to make at 154, but it's a lot of time off. And aside from being time off, right, it's an injury. So your training gets restricted. And like you said, it's very possible that his body could change, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's that's that. Um...